Thanks for checking me out. Let me show you my latest cop. Finally got my hands on some Ralph Lauren velvet slippers. These are the Paxton and I love them. I'm gonna tell you why I grabbed these and um, the details surrounding this, this purchase. And Red Wing, actually my first pair of Red Wing boots. These are Chuckas. We're gonna bust this box open and talk about the details a little bit. And that story is connected to the Paxton as well. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you my real baby. This here is what consumes my time. I'm a maker, a craftsman, a businessman. And I spend my time making these fanny packs or crossbody bags, tote bags, high end, good stuff, authentic. So I'm saving this for last. First, let's get into what you really want to see. I built this channel you know, on the Ralph Lauren vibe. That is the pillar. So first things first, my first pair of velvet slippers. I've been wanting some for a while and I finally pulled the trigger because I was invited to an event. Black tie creative was the dress code. And I didn't know what I was going to put on until my good friend, the host made this suggestion. He said, yo, you're going to have on a uh, tuxedo jacket. And I said, yeah, of course, of course, of course. He said, yo, consider these. He showed me a picture and I pulled the trigger, right? Thing was, we were working with limited time. So I had these sent straight to my location, which was somewhere down south. And um, they look like they fit kind of tight, you know? So we went a size up. My friend advised a size up would probably be good. And um, smoothly enough, when I, when I arrived down south um, and tried these on, they were perfect, right? So that was a good call. Um, you know, black tie creative. I had on like a velvet jacket, you know, um, maybe I'll show you a picture someday, but um, these were the footwear. Let's get like a closer look. Obviously, you can see that um, that big bold crest right on the front, which fits because that has like a, a stately um, um, historic sort of appearance. You know, I don't want to sound too fancy, but that's what they remind you of with the um, with the ivy and the you know the loops and the gold thread so we got a crest on the front velvet body leather sole right and they seem to be trimmed in what i what i might call ribbon let's just let's just call it ribbon so up the hill right and then along the top of the shoe it's a nice simple shoe and it's um surprisingly comfortable you know i was afraid like i said about the size when i think of shoes that have a snug fit i think they're gonna like cut into the ankle or the achilles and everything but they didn't so so these were easy to break in um just get the right size if you're considering these um grab some if you never wear these i want to know about it i'll give you one warning my friend had a couple old pairs hanging around and they were in great condition but these do develop kind of like a uh a wrinkle around here so if you cool with that i mean most a lot of shoes do but i i just thought it was worth mentioning if you cool with that kind of um that kind of wrinkle right here and you like this you know this sort of this formal dressy type of shoe give them a shot because just put you could put these on with a pair of jeans and it steps up it steps up the whole situation so the paxton all right now these these were a blessing right red wing chuckers um somebody said this like this this is like this is the person and that's me they said hmm you know what i'm saying if you if you get what i'm saying they said hmm and i felt blessed and and i said i'll take that blessing my first red wing chuckers um i don't think i had chuckers since since like tim's in the 90s so let's pop the box and see get the paper out the way I'll try to give you a cool look there we have it what'd you think let me tell you a quick look and then and then i'll tell you the name so so here these are right and these are called chucka hawthorne i don't know hawthorne also says uh weekender chucka 
okay anyway this simple not much not much to say i'm sure you've seen similar um but i like them classic and just like a pair of sneaks i could probably wear these with almost everything well not everything but all like your regular day-to-day -day stuff your jeans your chinos you'll throw these on with that stuff easily oil cloth jacket some some jeans and a sweater or, or whatever way you want to play it so it's a leather leather upper rubber sole and this two-tone lace reminds me of something in uh, construction boots I don't know the proper name but you know something classic something you'll see and um, feel familiar with so chucka simple tell me what you think of this this footwear would you um would you do a paxton is this too is this too fancy do you consider this feminine some people look at these and um don't even really imagine men wearing these you know they like something with more body to it what you think of these um I'm gonna tell you a little more about that night too. I gotta tell you about the event um, before before I get into the crossbody slash fanny pack. So so that day uh, was 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 really classic. It was real. It was authentic. You know, we black tie, we bow tie, not clip ons. Really tying our ties. The guys they pop some nice bottles. I don't drink, but they pop some nice bottles. We had good sophisticated conversation and we told some dirty jokes so we did it all um so we started at the house they had drinks we hit a cigar bar um and just just kicked it i took a few flicks not many flicks because we were really living the, the, the day living the night it was all about just really being in the experience you know um living it instead of like snapping photos we finished the evening at a steakhouse a nice steakhouse and we had a private room it was actually in the wine cellar so it was just just like five or six of us maybe like four four of us just a few of us in in in, in, a, in a special room the wine cellar um they popped some more nice bottles we had some some good steak you know shrimp ravioli um you know everybody was generous it was all love and I thank them for inviting me into their circle. Um, I might show you a few pictures. This here is really what consumes my time right now. Y'all know I'm busy building a business. It's called American Layers, in case you didn't know. And I specialize in high-end bags, right? Tote bags, backpacks, fanny packs, crossbody. Let's take a look at this one. Well, it's obvious, um, obviously herringbone, and that's classic. You know, I love the classic. So it's a wool herringbone. I got this pull-up leather, which is great because with pull-up leather, pull-up leather has uh, a good amount of oil in it. So as you bend and fold it, you'll see you'll see creases. Those creases change over time depending on how the bag has been recently wrinkled and crumbled. So. You know, if you're going for something with that character look or that um that broken in look, the the pull up leather achieves that in a nice way. So that's what I choose for some of my projects. The strap, if I could get this to focus, bang. So the strap is made of leather with some um some some decorative stitching. The back is a nylon webbing, um. I stamped these straps with the four date, the four digit completion date. I think that gives it like a level of, um, not a level, a feeling, a feeling of uh, like authenticity, you know. So I, I, I hit them, I hit them with the four digits, and it also, it also says American Layers. I hope this is focusing properly. American Layers, and then four digit completion date, and then we got a military, a metal military buckle which opens from the top i taped it shut so it wouldn't bounce around but that opens from the top and then the teeth you know catch catch the strap obviously i went with nice um silver metallic hardware 
handmade all of these straps. Um, it's all handmade stuff, all hand cut leather, um, denim back. You can't beat it, man, I'm coming. I have so many ideas. It's just the execution and development takes time and I stay busy, y'all. Let me show you the inside. Um, I don't use a lot of nylon with my work, but I felt like the um, the fanny slash crossbody just, just felt right with the nylon interior. It's nice and smooth. And I use the thick stuff, so it, it really feels good. This is gonna last forever. If it doesn't, you know, send it back and I'll um, make the appropriate repair. But this is, this is gonna last, like I stamp. Like this stuff is good. I take real pride. And then I'll, um, I'll fasten the buckle so you see how that looks. I don't name these. I want to start naming the models. If you guys or or um, or, or or people, if you can all uh, figure out names, hit me with hit me with names to name these models. All right. What else can I say about this? I mean, this is how I spend my time. I love it. I'm busy building the business. I'd like to make more videos, but it's tough to split focus. As much as I like copping, um, you know, shopping while you're trying to create can be a bit of a distraction. Anyway, thanks for spending a few minutes with me. This is my latest cop. I'm very grateful. I had a cop. I had a gift. And I'm trying to get a little money, try to run a little business over here. So life is good. So when you think of me, just know I'm doing well. Appreciate your time.